Hey, there we go, guys. Sorry about that. A little bit of technical issues here. Uh, hey, welcome everyone to Zombie Fight Night, where we are going to pit every zombie in the game against each other in these massive 75 versus 75 battles here in a an arena that was basically built purpose built for these massive types of battles. Uh, wasn't specifically built for me, but I found it on one of the um, mod sites and it's going to work perfectly for tonight. So thank you very much guys for joining me today and for waiting patiently as I sorted things out. I actually thought I was live for like 10 minutes, but um, <laughs> was not. So we're going to just kick things off again. No big deal here. Thank you for waiting patiently. I hope I didn't waste any of your time. It's going to be a pretty quick live stream. I would predict maybe an hour or so. Hour, hour and a half. So um, how y'all doing, guys? Welcome, welcome. Uh, let me just play. Oh, we'll start off by looking at the teams because with the mod that I'm using here, uh, by the way, shout out to Furious Ramsey, creator of Rebirth Mod, who put this mod together for me. Um, with this mod, it's not going to be like... Uh, what would you call it like um like a tournament bracket where you're gonna figure out who's the top zombie because i'd have to like close the game edit the xml reload the game and that would just take forever so i've split them up into what i would consider to be perfectly even teams and those teams are right here for you team blue versus team red and you can see these are all the matchups as well so the zombies that are across from each other will be facing each other first matchup for example, Screamer versus Crawler. Now, I've been doing some voting. You've probably seen that because I've already I've already done the first two, but <laughs> we'll redo them live. There's definitely a randomized element to this, though, because the arena itself is like like the other team, like the X Factor team. So the arena itself could just decide, no, uh, Team Blue is not going to win today because Landvine, everyone's dead. So um you know, don't sleep on certain zombies because you never know what could happen, basically. Um, all right, so let me play the quick intro for you here. Just like a little cinematic of what we can expect today. And also just give me a thumbs up if we are all good on like audio, technical, all that stuff. So, huge shout out also to Naz. Naz is the creator of this arena. It was made back in Alpha 17, 16, something like that. And um, it was actually made for like Twitch. There's a bunch of coding that goes into this. I scrapped all that. I made some modifications here. I put traps into the arena itself. You can see all that right here. I've even added, uh, I think it's two or three different trap mods to add more explosives, more spikes, flaming traps. center stage there is just full of landmines and explosives so first zombie that goes in there is gonna wreck it for their whole team basically all right that's it for our little intro there da, da, da. okay so let's jump in then boom okay ready for this <laughs> it's gonna be fun. All right, all right, all right. We got we got to do votes again. We got to do votes because I did all the votes before and it was for nothing. Hey, there we go, guys. Sorry about that. A little bit of technical. Oh, I can't start a vote from here. Hang on a second. Give me two seconds. Here we go. Okay. I can't start a vote from here. What? I'll do it from my phone. More technical issues here. I can't, I can't do it from my phone either, can I? What? I don't know what's going on.
Polls are oh, because we have an ongoing poll. That would that would explain why I can't do a poll. Here, let's start another poll here. <laughs> oh, sorry, I figured it out eventually. Okay, so who's gonna win again? <laughs> Team blue. Team red. Start that up. And in case you need a quick reminder, here are the teams. Perilous Snipes, just watched your Darkness Falls NYC 15 hour supercut and wow, immediately got a sub. Hey, appreciate that. Appreciate the big super chat there. Much appreciated. Glad you like that. If you if you watch that one though, you gotta go back and watch the original, because it's all based on the story that we started developing in in the first Darkness Falls series. Glad you like that though. Alright. What do you guys think? Team red, team blue. Now I've ordered these zombies based on hit points. So, and, and I've tried to make like good matchups as well. Like party girl versus businessman and S spider zombie versus Tommy who used to be the spider zombie, but also who before that was just a regular zombie. So uh, who else is good matchup? Biker versus lumberjack. Can't wait to see that one. Mutated versus soldier. You know, the ones that you kind of always see together, utility worker versus janitor, it should be pretty even, honestly. My phone's on. Okay. It's even, isn't it? 52% for Team Blue. All right. I'm going to vote. Who am I going to vote for? Because I don't know. I mean, I know who's probably going to win a couple of these matchups, but... I'm saving some of these matchups so that we can experience them together. Like Screamer Crawler, I've done that one a few times, so <laughs> I kind of have a good idea on that one. But uh, I think, um, oh geez, I'm going to take the one with bikers. I'll take Team Blue. I'll take Team Blue. All right, so let's close the poll out. We got to close the poll out. So I can start a next, a new poll. I just learned that today. <laughs> it makes sense though, right? Okay. First matchup. Screamer. Whoops. Who wins? Screamer? Crawler. Don't sleep on the crawler, I'm telling you. Who do you guys think is going to win that? 75 versus 75. That's why the graphics here are going to be on low. Because I'll otherwise we'll just... <laughs> it's already lagging because it's YouTube. And it's already compressed anyway, so who cares about the quality? You ready? Alright. Well, hang on. Turn the AI off. We'll, we'll kick this all off. All at once. <clears throat> Alright. In, who, wait, 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 who's Team Blue? Team Blue is a Screamer. Screamer, Spawn 25, Screamer Feral. Everybody is a Feral, because they move faster. And they're a little bit more resistant to the landmines <laughs> and traps. <laughs> all right, there you go, there's your Screamers. I, oh, are they all Feral? I gotta make sure, yep. Okay, we got glowy eyes. We got glowy eyes, good, good, good. Over here? Tucked in the corner behind the trucks. Crawlers. 25. Yep, Feral. <laughs> I'll start them a little bit closer. Okay, so we got the boundary here, but they move so slow still. So I'll give them a little bit of like a couple meter head start here. All right, here it is. All right. Oh, it's like totally evenly matched. 51% Crawler, 49% Screamer. I don't know, guys. Okay. Okay, turn me off. Turn the HUD off. Um, oh, we do have names. Yeah, I updated the naming rights. So we could, you know, so we got some random supporters in here. Seasick Dog and Fingal, Logan Weaver, Stephen Hershey, Fisher Girl. Welcome to the team, guys. Okay, here we go. Uh, da, 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 da. Here, no, no, I got special sound effects for this too. <laughs> you guys are gonna think this is so lame. Here we go. <laughs> and they're off. 
Whoop. Just give me a slightly slower camera here. Oh, and the screamers already. Look at them. They're flying all over the place. They've already advanced on the right flank. And um, the flanking groups of zombies pretty much entirely avoid the traps. What do we got going on in the center? I think the center group of street screamers is just strewn all across the battlefield. Okay, the crawlers took a little bit of a hit over there on that one. But overall, I think it's a pretty clean match on the left flank. Over here on the right. Oop. Yep, the center just went off a little bit. I think there was like two zombies in there. Oh, the left flank has collapsed. There's like no more screamers over there, but they're doing pretty good on this side. Where are all the crawlers on this side anyway? Oh, I didn't close the pole. Okay, I'll have to try to remember that. Oh, but it's kind of actually fun to see it shift like as the battle shifts though, right? All right, crawlers kind of having a hard time on the terrain as they always do, right? Ooh, what's this over here? Got a whole squad of crawlers coming around the school bus. <laughs> the screamers don't even see him yet. They're gonna get completely outflanked. I still see zombies just flying through the air. There's a there's a crawler top right corner on top of the military truck. How did he even get up there? And why? Why did he walk all the way over there? Or what do you call it when you move with your hands? Is that walking? More like flopping, I guess. I think it's pretty. I'm almost ready to call it here. Yep. Screamer loses in pretty dramatic fashion here. We've got one left. I still hear a scream going off, but no, that was that was it right there. Crawlers emerge victorious, except Oop! <laughs> a couple of random landmines. Hang on a second, hang on. We... There's a screamer here somewhere. Where is she? I don't where are they going? Can we get some, um... I can he there's definitely a screamer here. Can we just go off on music? Uh-oh. What, what's happened here? I don't even know what happened. <laughs> I think everybody, I'm gonna give that one to the crawlers. Even though I'm pretty sure there's still a screamer around here somewhere that all those crawlers were crawling after. I don't know. It's programmed so that they don't attack, like, because there's traitors in this compound. They, they shouldn't be attacking traitors. They should not be attacking players, but. <clears throat> yeah, no one was left anyway. I guess, I don't know what killed all the crawlers there. You guys are still voting for the screamer. All right, we'll end the poll on that one. Who's next? Who's next? Oh, I should have taken the, um, I'll take the zombie teams off next time. Arlene versus Marlene. I don't know the, the relation there, necessarily, but I'm going to assume it's sisters. So, Sister Arlene versus Sister Marlene. I forgot who's on which team, though. Hang on. It's Arlene's on the blue team. Okay, 25, Arlene Farrell. 25 more. Last group, Arlene versus Marlene. What do you guys think? Let's do, let's do a poll. Who wins? Arlene. Marlene. This is a good matchup though, because statistically, like according to the game files and all, they are identical. No, they're they're not though, aren't are they? Because Arlene is gonna have the super fast running animation, so that could factor into things. The the further you run, the faster you run, the more traps you're apt to run into. Maybe. There's just an element of luck here, we'll see. That's why we're doing it. We're going through the motions here. Hopefully everyone's a feral. Are you all ferals? I didn't see what I clicked on there. Yep, okay. Marlene is in the lead on my end here, 53%. Okay, this time we're gonna meet him right 
in the middle if we can. <gasps> no, I, I didn't. I didn't reset the arena, but I'll reset it next time. So we have just fewer landmines this time, basically. Everything else is still fully functional. If you, and if you're wondering about the blade traps, I don't know if I said this already. Um, <clears throat> I have to reconnect the blade traps every single time I reset the map. So they're kind of there for decoration more than anything. I might set them up for like specific matchups that I think would be like extra good or extra long. You know, kind of whittle them through a little bit faster. All right. Are we ready for this? Three, two, Marlene, 51%, one. Let's do it. Whoop. Oh, moving super fast as well. Uh-oh. Wait, wait, wait for it, wait for it. In the there, yep, definitely. There's going to be a lot of bombs going off over there. All right. Oh, there's so many zombies now that uh, AI is just voluntary at this point. Not required. Yep, the center, as usual, complete, completely decimated by landmines. Do the best I can to maneuver the camera around. It's mostly boring on the left side. It's just a slog of Arlene's versus Marlene's. More interesting things appear to be taking place here on the periphery. Um, I don't, it's pretty much 50-50 out here. Oh, look out, they're falling into the traps over here. A whole bunch of them. In fact, they're even slightly on fire as well. Ooh, she got good jumps though. She, she made her way right out. Oh my God, look out. Did you see the barbed wire there? Uh, let's see, I'll, I'll, I'll move over to the barbed wire. The barbed wire is like, oh, now it looks round. On low graphic settings though, look how like jagged the barbed wire looks. <laughs> All right, traps are doing their work. There's definitely bleeding damage occurring here. Marlene is, uh, she was like standing on top of all four of those, okay? Just zip over here to where the the big battle was a second ago. Oh, we got some landmines on the way over though. And um, I think I'm seeing more Arlene's than Marlene's right now. Arlene. She's a crafty one, isn't she? She's always sneaking hits in on you, sneaking up behind you. All right. Let's see who wins. We're going to just jet up the uh, time scale here a little bit. Why not? Shouldn't affect anything. Yeah, I think Arlene is going to take the cake on this one. Okay, I got to keep track of um, who's winning here. Yep, that's it. That's it. They just go into like, you know, regular wander mode when it is all said and done. Okay. We're going to restart the play test. That should reset all the landmines. I think I actually kind of like that. We'll reset the landmines every other match. Because, man, it decimates that first run up. All right. Redo that. Bear with me for a second here, because I've got to see who's next. It's Party Girl versus Businessman. You always see these guys together, right? Whether it's like the strip clubs or the Shang Tower up on like that dance floor just next to the top. They're always hanging out with each other. They, they're they like one and the same, basically. They're identical stat-wise, as far as I know as well. Their, uh, their attack and hit points should be the same. End the poll. And who wins? Whoops, that is not what I'm looking for. One second. Party girl? Or business man? All right, while you guys are working on that, I'm going to update the spreadsheet. We've got... Um, Who won that first one? That was a crawler. And then Arlene. Okay, currently it is one to one. Team blue, one point. Team red, one point. Neck and neck.
Party girls. Oh, everyone likes the party girl. That's right. All right. Let me get this set up. We'll kick it off. Let's see what I can do this time from like elevation. Party girl. Spawn 20. Whoop. Make sure zombie AI is off so they don't wander off. Party girl feral. Party girl. Party girl. And did I get that right on the teams? Uh, yes, party girl is blue team. I definitely do feel like like one side of this arena is like has more traps close to the gate. So we'll see if that factors in at any point. Businessman, businessman, businessman. All right. We're gonna we're gonna just chase the businessmen right in. No, we gotta we gotta chase the girls. I don't know why, but I'm going to. Uh, looking good in the blue light, ladies. You ready for this? All right. I think we are. What's the voting at? Oh, 61% on party girl. You guys seem to be pretty much committed to this. I don't know on this one. I, I guess. I think I, I'm rooting for Party Girl, but it's anyone's game. Right, are we good here? Nope. Let's just slow the camera down. There we go. And uh, let's do it. Round three. This is the tiebreaker match. Oh, see the landmines out here. They're pretty rough. Oh, ho, 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 but the center has been obliterated again. And it looks like mostly in favor of businessman, I would say. I don't see many party girls that live through that one. Although the flanks appear to be pretty good, huge cluster of them over here. You know, I always thought that party girl was taller than a typical zombie, but she appears to be just about the same height as businessman. All right, we'll let them slug it out on the left flank and we'll zoom over here to the right flank and see what exactly happened on this side. It looks pretty even. We've got, they're piling on top of each other. Party Girl always did like it on top. And I'd say it's 50-50 on this side over here. Whoop. Careful with the landmines, girls. I think Party Girl, in fact, outnumbers Businessman here. Whoop. Okay, two big groups just turned in on each other. These isolated ones over here, just no chance. No chance at all. Although they're remarkably tank <coughs> tanky. <laughs> Excuse me. Against each other. I don't know. Okay, all right. Let's just get a little bit of an aerial of what's going on on this side over here. Hmm. Very evenly matched still. What did we get for the voting? 64% in favor of Party Girl? Come on, Party Girl. You can't let us all down. The eyes of the world are upon you. This side over here is just... Very slow, again, AI. <laughs> AI optional, basically. Here, let's crank up the speed a little bit. Let's see if we can whoop, close things out. Whoop. There we go. I, jeez, I think it's, it's just neck and neck on this side. I think like the 25 that were in the middle all died immediately. The 25 that were on the outside are just in like head-to-head -head combat. Businessman's gonna take this side though for sure. And we're gonna see him sprinting over here in a second. They'll probably all hit a landmine. But Party Girl has taken the right flank. And if I had to guess right now, Party Girl outnumbers the businessmen. And I think they mostly made it over. Many of them are on fire. Oh my god, it's very close now. It's three versus th two now. Three versus one. Party girl gets it. Nice. Let's go. We got it, guys. Oh, cool. All right. I'll, I'll reuse the same map on that one. End the poll now. And we'll see who is up next. All right, uh, nurse versus burn victim. I thought that was a fitting matchup, right? Because you, you'd see both of them kind of, you know, you'd see the nurse treat the burn victim, right? Presumably. 
Oh, you know what? No, no. I, I, I like the explosions. Let's restart the playtest. Just going to restart the whole map. Actually, I don't even have to do that, do I? I can just do a chunk reset. That should work. Try that next time. Okay, Nurse is on the blue team. That fits. Okay. Pick the teams up. Nurse. Nurse or Burnt. If you watch my videos, I usually call him Cole. So for some reason, someone, when was that? This is like during the, the road. If any of you were here for the road series, man, I commend you because that was like three years ago. But, um, what was I getting to? Oh, Cole, because he's like, he's the, bur he's the burnt guy and, and Cole, Cole gets burnt. Is that... Does that make any sense at all? I don't know. Burnt to a crisp. Coal. Coal zombie. All right. Um, oh, and, and, and then um, someone from the naming rights got pulled once, and um, it was this guy, Cole Slauson. And so I, na I just named the burnt guy Cole after that. I was like, that's perfect. Okay, so blue team was the nurse. Wait. Turn the AI off. Nurse. Why don't you look at me, nurse? There we go. Nurse. Nurse is winning. You guys like Team Blue, huh? I think Team what Team Red initially was was taking all the votes. Now you know t Team Blue's taken away. All right, burnt. Yeah, burnt. Burnt goes to the red side. That's perfect. That that's fitting. Ah, oh, yes, and they're like the flaming variant too. The ferals, even better. And then um. Jeez, I should probably take those cars out of there. They're not doing anyone any fair favors, but yeah, sometime. Okay, we'll start from the red side this time. We're ready. Yep, you guys like Nurse Zombie. I I don't know. See, does um does this burning zombie have like a burning attack? I don't remember. I don't think he does, but um. If, the, if he did, I think I, I would definitely put money on Burnt Zombie, but one way to find out. You good here? Get some music going. The battle. Shout out to White Bat Audio. Love that guy. Good music. And let's do it. Burnt Zombie versus Nurse. Let's just go aerial for the initial wave here. Yep. Burnt Zombie made it first into the center. Oh, the nurses got obliterated out of the gate that time by landmines. Every time with the landmines. Oh, the left flank just got hammered. Although I see a lot of Burnt Zombies getting up. There goes the, the Burnt Zombie center right there. Only four survivors out of that. But I think, whoop, big explosion to the north there. This is going to be a quick battle here. That was a lot faster than I expected. I think Nurse looks like she's got the numbers over on that side, but on this side, it's all burnt zombie, I think at least. And yeah, I don't think they have any sort of a flaming debuff on the attack there. They should though, right? They definitely should. Like the hazmat zombie has a higher incidence of inflicting an infection, but oh my goodness, Nurse zombie. Seems like she's trying to make a comeback here on this side. Oh my! Yes! Nurse Zombie with the win on the left flank against all odds. How did this happen? Burnt Zombie just choked. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Straight over. See if we can hit some landmines. Come on, yep! There goes one! <laughs> Luckily that one got away first. Oh, I think the nurse has it on this side too. Yep. Oh my god, nurses are everywhere. We just have this one little group to get through here. I think. These, these guys are just holding strong as long as they can. Where'd everyone else go? What are you guys doing? Ah, just stragglers. Here we go. The final battle. Nurse has it. Easy. No problem. 
You guys called it. Nurse saw me 62%. And in the end, victorious, despite massive landmine casualties there. Here, can I just do a reset time? Uh, AI off. Chunk reset. Whoops. I think that works. Who's next? I gotta update the list here. Talk amongst yourselves. So we had a party girl victory and a nurse saw me victory. Oh, Team Blue is three to one right now. Next up though, we have Zombie Joe and Zombie Steve. You don't have to vote just yet, because I I don't know that all of you know who Zombie Joe and Zombie Steve are. If you do, that's fine. Okay, so... Wait, who was who there? Um, Joe is blue. Joe Farrell. That is... I think most people call this guy, um... Crackhead, or... Meth... Kenny! Kenny, right? That's the Glock name for it. <laughs> hey, I'm on board with that. This guy totally looks like a junkie. Alright, we got the Joes. Who... Who's Joe facing? <laughs> I forgot already, no. No, why? Why? Because it's late. This is why I do my filming in the morning, because I get, like, brain fog. Steve! Right. Kamikaze Steve. Oh, Steve, man. Steve and I have a history. We go way back. Steve? Not the Steve Crawler, though. We want the Steve Farrell. Kamikaze Steve. You ever watch the... the Shoot. Oh, the Undead Legacy series. You, you know all about Kamikaze Steve. Kamikaze Steve decided to go out of his way to jump onto a landmine and kill me. It's terrible. All right. I'm, I'm definitely ro rooting for Joe here. Oh, if Team Blue wins this, though, oh, it's going to be a difficult comeback. We're going to have to come up with some conditions to, to, uh, to aid... The, uh, the Team Red, if Blue comes away with the win here. Maybe we'll, uh, we'll spin up some of the Blade Traps for some future bouts here. See if we can even the scales a little bit. Okay. Are we ready? Joe has it. 59%. Uh-oh. Are we good to go here? We're pretty good. Get everything adjusted here. And... Go. Let's do it. Watch out for the landmine, Steven. Oh, but Joe out of the gate just got about half of them were killed. It looks like the AI is um, selectively turning on and off for Steven. Much to his um, ooh, benefit because he's avoided some of the landmines, but not all of them. Okay, yes, things have definitely kicked off with the bag here. What is going on on the left side? It's... Um, Chaos, man. I would have um, expected nothing less from Kamikaze Steve to hit every single landmine on his side of the map because, yeah, I think Steve is toast on this one. It's just, it's Joe all the way. We've got a group of Steves running around in the middle, but a much larger group of Joes waiting for him. <laughs> not, not only that, but they're just trying to attack the wall as well. Stupid Steven. All right. I don't know, but that pretty much does it for that one. That was a very quick matchup there. And, um, like I said, we're going to have to try to even the, the, the matchups ourselves. Yeah, it's
it's all over. Let's speed it up. Let's get it over with. Come on, Joe. Wrap this crap up. I think the right side was rather even, but the center and the left side just completely wasted. <laughs> just standing in the fire. No big deal. What are you guys even doing down here? It looks like they're just attacking a leg. No, it's just a just an upper torso on the ground there. And that is it. Q1 up for Team Blue again, man. It's turning into a rout for Team Blue here. End that poll. Who's next? Ooh, the one I've been waiting for. Old Spider versus New Spider. We've got Tom Clark, an old Kickstarter supporter for Seven Days to Die, got his likeness imported into the game, will always be remembered in this game now. And he was, once upon a time for several alphas there, he was the spider, Tommy was. Now we have a dedicated spider, so we'll see who's better, the OG spider or the new spider. I guess it's the OG spider, I don't know, I mean... Tom Clark was like a regular zombie when he was first put into the game. Been playing all those older alphas lately. Let's see, chunk reset. Should it's, those chunk resets are working, aren't they? I think so. We just got some litter, some bodies, just body parts, no big deal. Loot bags shouldn't interfere with anything, I don't think. Okay, so Tommy Boy is on Team Red. Who do we got on this one, guys? Who wins? Tom, Clark, or Spider? Let's hit it. Red team is... Yep. Tommy. I don't know about this one. I think I, uh, I think the, the zombies that are like at a lower level have a little bit of an advantage because like their animation is meant to kind of hit up towards the target, but the tall zombies are not necessarily meant to like hit down. At least that's my, uh, that's my logic. That's it right there. Okay, I'm gonna follow the spiders on this one because I just want to see there if the, any of them will jump. I don't think many of them will jump, but certainly a possibility. 60% for the spider. Team blue. Oh no. Have I just grossly imbalanced the teams or what? Okay, we'll see on this one here. Let me uh let me update the list here. Yep, because Joe beat Steve. It's four to one right now. Team blue, four. Team red, one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten matchups to go. Team Blue has some strong zombies too. The white, the biker, the tourist, the cop, Yo, Mo, and Bo. I put Joe, Mo, Yo, and Bo all together. I figured they were related, so. Alright, are we ready? Turn that off, turn that off, turn that down. Turn that up a little bit. Turn that on. Cheer. Bo, let's do it. Oh, I can't see the pole right now. Uh-oh. Uh oh Spiders are hitting landmines. Just gonna whoop. Oh, the center, man. Every time with the center. I see spiders running rampant. I'm not seeing a lot of Tom Clarks, though. though. Isn't there supposed to be a door over there? Oh, there is a door. It's just not rendered. <laughs> Zombie. That's why we put the bulletproof glass up, because zombies just go flying from the landmines. Here we go. We're behind the bulletproof glass. Yes, it's definitely going to be spider zombie on this flank here. The center is just gone. Nothing new there. Oh, well, we got some Tom Clarks over there, I guess. Kind of missed those guys. They're just resting right now. <laughs> Little bit of action over here. Yeah, here's the thing. Can Tom Clark aim down enough to do damage to the spiders? 
I doubt it. I doubt it very much. We'll see though. It's not looking good. Not looking good for Team Red. It's alright. We gotta come up with um, what we're gonna do to even it out a little bit. Do, do we do like an extra five zombies for Team Red from now on? Is that acceptable? Can I roll this while I'm over here? Yeah. Cop in the demo is going to be fun. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm not, I'm not keeping up with the chat. I'm trying to keep the tempo kind of up for this one. We'll, we'll get this over with here pretty soon. But um, appreciate y'all being here. Sabrina, good to see you again. I always see you on the live streams. Good to see you. Skinny Pete hasn't got a chance. Yeah, I don't think so. Pandemonium, let's go blue. I wish there was a way for us to bet on this, that'd be nice. White Archon, man, I always see you around. Appreciate the support, appreciate you being here, man. Yeah, Spider has unfair advantage. That's, ooh, well, I don't know. Things are rolling, let's, let's give it give it some time. Caitlin says, hey, love your videos, appreciate that. Glad you like them. Hope you guys are enjoying a little bit of variety, taking a little bit of a break from seven days this month. Doing a little bit of seven days here and there, but for the most part, just kind of want to hit the recharge button a little bit, you know what I mean? Four consecutive series since Elf 21 started. Pull the goalie, says Dustin Sparks, the $2 super chat. Appreciate that. Oh, guys, I don't know what happened when I was flapping my gums there, but Tommy... Tommy's going to pull this one out. What happened? The OG Spider Zombie asserts his dominance over the arena with a clean wipe of the spider with, it seems like, maybe nine left over, four, uh, eight, nine, ten left over. Wow. That's like, that is, um, that's surprising. I don't know what happened. I thought for sure the spider was going to win that for a second there. <laughs> the, the spider, they're just starting to die off now because they've been alive for too long. Like they have this like idle death timer. All right, well, I'll take it. Ooh, man, that one, that, that hurts. I got that one all, all wrong. Okay, end the poll. We all got that wrong. We're 61% of us at least, 60% of us. Pretty sure 60 plus 39% is not 100%. I don't know what YouTube polling is doing over there. Some shoddy math. Uh, Tommy, all right. Ooh, Team Red. Okay, they needed that one. That was a clutch victory from Tom Clark. It is four to two. I, I should have done something so I could, I could um, put the score up on screen for you. But trust me, I'll show you the score in the end. We have. Whoops. Let me go. Da, 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 da. Okay. It is Zombie Yo versus Lab Zombie. It's kind of a meh matchup here in the middle. Zombie Yo versus Lab. Lab on the red team. I'm just going to do a quick um, refresh on the map here. Too many loot bags. Going to clutter, you know. Oh, also, I'm working on the animals. The animals were very bugged. But I did want to include them in this battle. I think we'll do this. We'll definitely do this again sometime. But um, want to make it more epic. And I think the key to do that is the animals. Maybe we'll do it again in Alpha 22. When we get all like the updated. Oh, that'd be cool too. Because we'll have all the, um, the variable outfits. The different colored t-shirts and stuff for everyone. That'd be kind of fun. Break it up a little bit. And we'll have the new animals as well. You guys excited for that? Because... Not much is coming to Alpha 22 that I'm excited about, other than... Uh, I mean, I'm excited to see the armor and the new characters, but there's not a lot else that's going into it. You're just getting, like, new skins on the vehicles, new skins on zombies, new skins on characters. Just a big visual overhaul, more than anything. I don't know why this is taking so long. It should only take a second. Might be dead here.
Yeah, we're dead. I killed it. <laughs> Give me a second. I will Alt F for this. Intermission. Brief intermission here. We have, uh, what is it? Seven, six down. We're about halfway. Six down, eight to go, something like that. Booting back in. There we go. I was surprised to learn, actually, that Lab Worker has... So everyone else in this list as a Feral, so far, that we've done, 300 hit points. Lab Worker, 350. She's a bit tougher. As well as Yo, Mo, Hazmat, Darlene, and Bo. Janitor, Utility Worker. I think the Mutated. Soldier. Skater. Not sure about Skater. They all have 350 hit points. Slightly stronger than the rest. Okay, we're back. You know what I'm going to do this time, though? I'm going to spin up the blade traps here. Just to see what they look like for a couple matches here. Uh, we're going to need um, the whole shebang here, though. Engines and gas. It's just as simple as doing this. It's just I didn't want to have to do this like 16 times, basically. <laughs> that's that's, that's the, uh, the skinny on that one. There we go. All right, we got blade traps for this one. <laughs> nice. Okay, who's on what team? Yo is blue. Yo is blue. Okay. Oh, we didn't do a vote, did we? Who wins? Yo. He's like the boring guy with the collared shirt, button up, jeans. Yo or Lab? Two boring zombies to fight each other. Got the teams already, man. I'm telling you. <laughs> lab is red. Okay. Yo over here then. Yo. Who named this guy anyway? Who names a guy Yo? Yo? I'm surprised everything's worked so far, because you know I haven't I didn't test this extensively. Uh lab. Lab Feral. Alright. We got floppy hand. Lots of floppy hands. Okay. Lab worker, 67%. She's going to take that, like, distal ulna and just stab with it. You know, that broken wrist. <laughs> just take that exposed bone and use it as a weapon, right? All right, we'll start over here. I'm going to get, like, a nice sweeping shot of this one if I can. Just line the camera up. There we go. That'll work. All right. Uh, let's see. Off. Off. And... 67%, okay. I'm with you guys. I got lab lab tech here. Le they need it too. Red team needs a big win here. Oh, you know, we should... I'm thinking that we should switch sides, you know? Maybe that, like, the reason why blue team keeps winning is because the red side of the arena has an, a disadvantage. We'll see what happens here. We might have to do an arena flip. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Oh, look at the lab workers on the far end over there, just jumping over the barrier. That's not really cheating, but not a lot of landmine action so far. <laughs> As I say that, here we go. A little bit over here. So it's an even match behind us. The entire Yo team has died. Okay. Maybe it is not what side of the map that matters the most, because <laughs> Blue Team just got wasted on this one. Uh-oh. But look at the lab workers jumping down into the spike trap here. 
Oh, that was like five zombies immediately killed. Yeah, these are like extra powerful traps. You can see these these random spike traps I put around. There are entanglement barriers, they call them. And then these little vents right here, also fire traps. Two different types of fire traps here. Oh man, lab worker with a clean sweep. Oh, she's going through the middle though. That's very dangerous. Yep. <laughs> All right, well, we got a couple pathfinders there clearing the way, but it's not enough because there's just so many landmines in the middle. Play traps are kicking in a little bit. See, the victory on the flank meant nothing. I don't think a single... <laughs> not, not a single one of them made it over. Okay, so it's just the left flank. That is it then. A pretty clean matchup over here. Lab tech still sitting at 65%. I think the... Ooh, nice jump there. <laughs> jump so high she ragdolled herself. Did you see that? That one that was like right, right, right there. <laughs> Let's take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten yos. Oh no, oh no, guys. Zombie yos ca coming from behind a little bit. They got some mismatches here on this side. And the lab techs can't seem to take care of business here on this side. All right. Speed things up here to close it out. Very even match here. What is that lab tech doing? She's beating on the wall. Letting her team down. Three versus four. Three versus three. Oh my god! At the, the 11th hour, lab tech came in for the win. That was a clutch victory right there. I thought for sure that Yo was going to have it. But here we are. Lab tech. <laughs> Damn, Team Red making a comeback here. Let me mark that up. Zombie life. It's four to three now. Team Red with two consecutive victories. Kill all. Whoops. Chunk reset. Ah, oh, see that messed up my blade traps. Damn. Oh, but it only took the connections off, which is. Wait a minute. Why is nothing working right now? I feel like things should be working. Oh, they do work. If I just do a simple chunk reset, then okay. Okay, we got blade traps then for the rest of the the duration here. Good stuff. Right. Next up, we have Zombie Mo, big guy versus Hazmat Boy. So who wins? Bo? Hazmat. Holds up. It looks like Hazmat is red team. I'll get that set up. Hazmat. Jeez, I feel like Mo is stronger. You guys got Mo? I got Mo too, man. I feel like Mo is stronger, but like I was just going by the zombie hit points and their attacks and stuff, and it says in the files that they're the same. Sans the special like extra infection chance that Hazmat Guy gives you. Unless I overlooked something. We'll see. Yeah, 60% from Mo. I got yeah, I got Mo on this one too. I think Blue's gonna take a, a slight step forward in the leaderboards, but you never know, right? With the landmines and everything. I like this awkward lull in the music. I don't even know if you guys can hear this music, can you? The song is over. We can't start it in the end of a song. Now let's roll with it. Alright. Are we ready here? Camera's good. Lights, cameras, and... Action! Uh-oh, uh-oh. We might have a... 
disqualification here. Did I do the wrong? What's wrong with you guys? Mo is not a member of a team. What happened to all those Mo's that were over there? Oh, did we did we lose some due to despawning? We we've got a disqualification round here. <laughs> Mo didn't show up for the fight, which means we need to take a brief intermission to figure out what the heck happened there. I must not have him in the list. Mo Bo Mo is in the list as blue team. Wait a minute. What happened here? Hold, hold your hold your bets. Hold your bets. Hold, hang on a second. We gotta troubleshoot this. Okay, we, no, we don't need dramatic music right now. Mo. Hazmat. Why don't you fight, Mo? Mo was broken. This is what we get for not testing things ahead of time. Okay, this is when we get the XMLs out. Let's see what, what the heck happened here. We've got uh, Zombie Mo. Shoot, is 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 um Is it just M O and not M O E? <laughs> Mo is a lover, not a fighter. I have to agree with that. Okay, I'm gonna we're gonna troubleshoot this for two seconds. Otherwise, we're gonna call it a wash because I, I I I've seen this before where just zombies don't want to fight and I don't want to troubleshoot this forever, honestly. I'm just gonna jump into the configs and T groups. Zombie Mo. Hmm. I don't know what happened. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. Pacifist Mo, yeah, Mo's on break. Mo's looking for beer. Moe's moping around. <laughs> Mo. uh. Okay, the one thing we can try then is... Just a quick refresh here. We'll try that. <clears throat> it's seven days, guys. Seven days to die. A game with no bugs. Although I can't blame the game. It, it usually runs fine. It's just like when I'm modding it to the breaking point is when I start having problems like this. That's what happens when you, you're, you're where I am and you're like at the bottom of the well of like ideas to, like to make videos about. It's like, oh, let's make zombies fight zombies. That'll be great. It's had to be a live stream though, because you no, know, we got to do the voting, right? <clears throat> I don't know why Mo wouldn't work though. Zombie Mo Feral. Zombie Mo Feral. Might have to just call it. Call it a uh, disqualification. Okay, we'll just do a quick outdoor test here. Oh. Who's he facing? I swear to God, my brain is just mush. Has bad. No! Oh! You disappoint me! You know, I'm not giving up that easily. I mean, I'm... I'm... 
kind of given up, but not not entirely. <clears throat> Quick little edit there. Let's see if that works. <laughs> Mo is blackout drunk. Yep. Probably. <laughs> Okay, so what I did is I made, at least I think I did, I might have to restart the game to see this effect, but Mo Rad has Matt. Why? Why? Hmm. We need a substitute for Mo. Mo is has taken the day off. And I can't figure out why, at least not on the fly like this. And so we're gonna use a substitute for this. It's just gonna be Hazmat. Hazmat brought some extras with him. <clears throat> it's gonna be a Hazmat Blue versus Hazmat. And we're even just gonna do rads here. All right, you ready for this? No, we can't do that, because they can't be on the same team, can they? I can't do that. Who's been our, like, biggest overachiever so far? Hmm. I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. You ready for this? <clears throat> it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be uh oh hazmat's on team red hazmat's on team red okay <clears throat> hazmat 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 technically these guys are 350 hit points i mean you can see it there. There's variability there, but like 330 to 380, what I'm seeing there. Deanna the banana. I eats beets. The gang's all here. We're going to do an all-star team from Team Blue. All the winners so far. So that's Arlene in the middle. <clears throat> Party girl. On that flank. Nurse. On this flank. And I'll do like... Joe. Joe, honorable mention here. We'll do five Joes to help account for that extra 50 hit points that Hazmats get. So... Joe Farrell. <laughs> and this is gonna, it's just going to count for Mo. It's going to all count for Mo because Mo is a pacifist and he does not feel like cooperating today even the radiated version oddly enough all right are we ready here <clears throat> you guys had mo in the voting we're just going to count that as you guys have team blue because this is like all-star team blue right here so let's hit it <laughs> No, it's the team. The team is broken. How did that happen? Oh no. Oh no, this might this might be it. Why aren't my are you, I didn't spawn in normals, did I? No, they're ferals. What has happened here? <gasps> is it the hazmat? Is hazmat boy the one that's broken? Oh no! All this hype for nothing? I had it all wrong, guys. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Check the XMLs again. Ah. I don't know. What happened?
It's like the factions got all messed up here. I don't know. I'm gonna restart the game again and just see if that fixes anything. Nothing, nothing was wrong so far. It's one of those weird cases where like I'm getting the sneaking suspicion that my computer wants to restart because sometimes you have issues in seven days and it just needs a, a reboot. I'll give it one more try. Something's broken, yeah, I agree. Out of nowhere, that was working fine there. Well, all we can do is try. What tests? <laughs> yeah, I got some studs over there. Overperforming. Yeah, it might be that... Um, Team Blue just threw in the towel. They're like, nah, we're not fighting anymore. We're done with this. We're not getting paid enough. Okay, oh, geez, quick test here. It's gonna be... I mean, let's just go back to basics here. Crawler versus Screamer. Okay, okay. We're back in business. Can we just do a mo? And Hazmat. I think it's Hazmat that's messed up, because if I do... Oh yeah, Bo wants to fight! It's Hazmat Boy that's all messed up. Why is Hazmat messed up? Why do you want to kill the Crawler? He's on your team! I don't know. Okay, so Mo is back in, baby. Mo wants to fight. It's the Hazmat guy that no one wants to touch him. Hazmat guy's just gross, right? No one wants to fight Hazmat guy, so... <laughs> what are we gonna do now, man? What are we gonna do now? We're gonna have to make up some kind of a wonky matchup here. Okay, we, 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 we got Mo. We've sorted that. All right. Mo Farrell. Mo Farrell. And another. And uh, we're gonna do all-star all-star red okay that's gonna be crawlers Tommy and lab Tom lab and you know what I'm not gonna give them any special advantage because I think the crawlers like auto basically give them an advantage so all right let's get a little bit of an aerial for this one is that good All right, let's get this over with. I'm sick of Mo and Hazmat matchup. Moving on to something else, please. Let's do it. There we go. Working fine now. Of course, the center is being lulled into a trap by the slow crawlers. All those Mo's just dying. Blade traps, bombs. Yep. <laughs> it's all over, I think. I don't know if Moe's going to be able to withstand the losses in the center there. You never know, though. He could just curl in on these flanks and just annihilate after that. He's got the hit points. Oh, big bomb over there. I saw a lot of lab zombies get blown up there. Although kind of hard to tell, everyone's kind of like a red and white color, so could have been a mix. I don't know, where all the crawlers go that were in the middle? Have they just... Yeah, they're... <laughs> they hit a landmine at some point, I think. Oop, I hear some blade trap action. More landmines. The center, man. The center is just a trap. And on the flank here... Ah, lab worker. Oops! Ooh! <laughs> a Pyrrhic victory. It's all down to this over here. 
Tom Clark. I don't know, man. Let's just see what happens. We'll see if Mo is truly the warrior that we think he is. If the AI could just cooperate. What does this see? See we talk about AI cooperating? We'd get Mo just standing on a bunch of Tommies here and dead. I think there's just a swarm of Tom Clarks. Oh, there's a crawler there! And five Moes working on him. Uh-oh. It's pretty even, actually. Mm. Oh, Tommy. Don't let us down like this, man. The team is counting on you. Oh, there we go. Oh, and all of a sudden... It's all over. It's all over. Oh, this is a good song, too. I like this one. Yeah, we gotta chalk that one up for Team Red. And you know what that means, guys? It's all tied up four to four. Team Red takes the victory on this one. We'll give that one to Hazbat. Honorary mention. No one wants to touch him, though. He's too gross. So we had to get some subs in, but ultimately, Team Red pulls through. Who's next, anyway? Let's see here. Uh, Bo versus Darlene. Surprisingly, I didn't know, but Darlene has a few extra hit points. Uh, kill all. And chunk reset. And I should just be able to, the last time, that's all I had to do here. Turn on. There we go. Okay, so we've got... Uh, whoop, gotta get a new vote in. Good old bow. Call him Thick Zombie. Thick 44. I got bow on this one. There's no way I'm voting against Thick. Interested to see what you guys think, though. And Team Blue is going to be... Bo's team. But for the sake of this battle and this battle only... We will change Team Blue's color to purple in honor of Thick 44. I don't think I can change the color on these, though. That's going to be a blue light. All the same. Team Thick versus Team Red. So if someone cares to explain the whole thick thing, I think I know it. I think that Neves Gaming like actually saw this guy once and was like, hey, it looks like thick. And thick was like, yeah, it looks like me. So, you know, no disrespect intended. I know some, I've seen some people take that the wrong way. No, no, no. Not how it's meant. I want a zombie that's named after me. I want a, like my zombie likeness to be added to the game. That would be great. I don't know if I'm going to pay like $5,000 like Tom Clark did, but... <laughs> Darlene. Some people call her Karen as well. She's got that like classic just soccer mom middle America vibe going on. <laughs> just, I don't know. <laughs> it's almost fitting though. Like Bo has this kind of orange skin tone. And she's got the orange hair. All right. 74% for Bo. Yeah, yeah. I've got Bo as well. I mean, anything can happen. Of course, I've said that. But let's see here. Are we ready? Three, two, one. Hit it. Landmine trap in the middle. AI turned off for the <laughs> middle zombies after the massive landmine issue. The Thick 44 zombies over here just um, decided to just jump. They're doing hurdles. They, they're they in the wrong competition. This is a fight to the death, not the Olympics, bud. But I think it's going to save them. Anytime they get delayed like that, it's kind of good. Avoid the landmines. It's like a tactical feint, right? Oh, look at this one. <laughs> She's crawling over on fire. Oh, clean her up. 
Get her out of here. She's a tenacious one, though. <clears throat> All right, let's see if we can... Yep. Oh, just huge cluster over here. Of course, it's just not really doing anything. Not enough have died yet for all of them to be granted AI privileges. Although, oh man. Thick 44 zombie just made a break for it. Let's get this camera around. Oh my. Yep. I'd say this is a mismatch at this point. With no landmines, no traps to save her. I think that Darlene is done for. It's that, it's long arms. Bo has that reach, right? Like, every time Bo just like, he does that bear hug attack. He's like, whack! Like he's hitting your eardrums or something. You ever watch, um, uh, The Boys? When, uh, uh what's his name? Ah, oh, it's the lead character too. Crap, I can't remember him. I don't know, he does that like, clap on the guy with the special hearing superpower. I'm doing a terrible job explaining it. But anyway, he just basically like claps this guy in the head and busts his eardrums. That was brutal. But that's what Bo does basically. And it's a, just an overwhelming victory for Thick 44. It's the paint. I know it is. Definitely the paint job there. Let's go ahead and just restart the plate test so we don't have to repaint. Whoops. I shouldn't have done that because now I got to redo the generators. Trying to see outsmart myself. Whoops, did we have the uh, the list up there the whole time? My bad. Didn't mean to do that. Who's next anyway, though? Oh, and who? What team was that anyway? Bo, oh, okay. Team Blue pulls ahead a little bit. Next up, we have Janitor versus Utility Worker, though. I got Utility Worker on this one. I think it's the armor. I don't know if that makes a difference in, like, zombie v. zombie. Uh, Jonathan asked if I like Enshrouded. Jeez, man, Enshrouded is my favorite game right now. <laughs> that and Power World. It's been a good month for survival games, honestly. Then we got Sons of the Forest coming out, Nightingale. It's good time. Good time to play survival. Killer Joe, janitor. I call him Killer Joe. I don't think anyone else does. That's just my... My little thing. Alright, pulls up. I'll work on the spawns. Alright. Who's in which team? Janitor's on the blue team, of course. Seventy-two percent so far. Team Red needs this victory, so it's actually good timing. I think I think Utility should have it. I mean, short of like a landmine catastrophe, which is always a possibility. We're gonna follow them in this time from the center. <laughs> Just watch them all explode immediately, probably. All right? Are we good here? So, uh, we'll we'll just power down the traps for this one. 76% for utility worker. Let's hit it. Oh. Off the rocky start in the center here. The flanks are looking good, as always, although. I didn't even see. Where did the whole team of janitors go that were in the middle? They're all over the place, man. Chasing people down. He's got some fast movers here. These utility guys, they run fast. They got that fast animation. Bodies strewn about, but I think that's it for the... Oops. Here's a big group of them over here. It's not too big. Big group over here, though. Yeah, I feel like Janitor's... I don't know. He's got that... He's just slow. He's never, he never feels like too much of a threat until he kills you on a one-shot kill series. <laughs> Killer Joe. Uh-oh. 
I'm kind of I'm seeing more blue here than I am yellow. What about you guys? <laughs> okay, we gotta just like little mini spotlight on this battle right here. <laughs> Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? The one-armed, no-legged utility worker, or there's your there's your answer right there. Okay, let's uh, let's turn it up a little bit. Ooh, someone's in the fire over here. That's never good. Ooh, man. That was that was a big loss. That was like four utility men, if not five. It's neck and neck, guys. I don't know about this. I'm kind of feeling like I'd be out some money. Oh, here we go. They're about to break free over here on this side. I just saw it. Let's just get over here faster. Oh, nope, nope, nope. My bad. Looking good for utility worker. All right. This point. Let's see what happens. Who do we have next? Mutated versus soldier. Okay, we're starting to get into the juicy matchups here. All right, some utility men just broke away, but they're hitting landmines on the way over. Uh-oh. I don't think the armor really did much of anything, do you? I mean, there were some catastrophic landmines there for utility men, but... Yeah, and now they're in poor position. That's it. Wow. That was a surprise victory there for the utility worker. I mean, the, uh, sorry, the janitor. A surprise loss for utility man. Wow. Okay, okay. Well... That's why we have to play it out, because you never know what's going to happen, right? Let's just, um, kill all. Whoops. Chunk reset. Turn AI off for a second. Where are we at now? That was a victory for Team Blue. Oh no. Okay, so it is six to four. Team Blue's pulling away again, but it's mutated zombie versus soldier, and I have no idea how this one's gonna turn out. Let's get a poll going and see what you guys think. There we go, polls up. Who is on which? Soldier on the red team. See, I don't know if the mutated special attack is gonna, like, come into play here at all. Ah, see, it, it could, but it, it would probably see, just do damage to each other, I would think. One of the interesting things is that one of the reasons this was difficult... Well, not difficult. I mean, I didn't, I didn't mod this, but one of the challenges in um, <laughs> Furious Ramsey modding this for me is that uh, zombies don't typically damage each other. Which I didn't realize, like, they, when their hits, their uh, hand hits, will never hurt each other in, uh, like, a, a base game, so... Didn't know that. 61% for Soldier, you guys are liking that. I don't know, we saw earlier, though, with the Utility Worker, I don't know if the armor is making much of a difference. The Soldier's got some armor on, but... I don't know. Alright, let's, uh... Let's kick it off here. Let's go. I want to see some special attacks for sure. Oh, oh, they're just juicing up their own side over here. That's horrible. <laughs> the center is gone, at least for the mutated zombies. Oh, this side over here is just all juiced up though. I don't know if they're doing any damage with those special attacks or what. You know what? I'll take the soldier in this one because I think that uh, the delay from the mutated zombie, like, doing his, you know, sh jiggle thing, is gonna come back to bite him. Look at the devastation on this side, though. I don't know. It must have been all landmines here. 
Jeez, can we get like a slow pan over the uh, the field of corpses here? The field of broken dreams. This would make a pretty cool video if I... Uh, Lugers versus Rugers. <laughs> Dustin, thank you very much for that super chat there. Appreciate it. I don't know, man. Not a whole lot left going over here. Yeah, this would make a pretty cool video if I, like, wanted to do all the cinematics and the slow mos and stuff. Is that over here? Maybe a little bit. Let me just slow it down a little bit. Oh, that is very slow. Yeah, some of this with some good music. Whoop, zombie flying around. No leg, no arm. <laughs> Stepped on a landmine for sure. Yeah, I don't know. It's looking pretty close over here. I, I guess the soldiers kind of have it. At first glance, by the numbers here. Oh yeah, yeah. I think soldier takes the cake on this one. And... Team with soldier on? Soldier is on Team Blue. Well, let's let it play out. We've had some early calls before. No, no, no. It's definitely Soldier. That's it. Oh, Soldier by a landslide. Okay, so Soldier is the new MVP for whatever team you're on, buddy. I don't know. <gasps> team Red. What? Team Red got a victory. Oh, but it's the... Zombie Feral White versus Zombie Skater next. Turn it on the blade traps for this next one too. Whoop. Ah, crap. Gotta do the whole shebang here, gas. Hello? Jeez. There we go. Yeah, get these hooked up. Just for a little bit of extra flair. You know? Change it up a little bit. There we go. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six to five in favor of Team Blue. I think there's an odd number of teams too, so we might have to. No, there shouldn't be any need for a tiebreaker. Cop demo. Oh, what if it's all decided by cop demo though? That's gonna be great. We might have to do like best of three for the finale. All right. Anyway, um, white is on blue. Not radio. See, originally, when I was testing this, it was going to be white against biker. But I'm telling you what, man, the biker just wipes the floor with <laughs> with the whites every single time. It's just not a good matchup. Whoop, 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 before we get any further. I like this one. <laughs> Whoops. There we go. If you listen to like punk rock in the 90s, you know what that reference is. <laughs> you guys got the white boy? I think I do too. Skater, skater boy, he's pretty tough too. Hopefully we don't have the same glitch that we had with the hazmat boy. So uh, maybe that's what it is. They don't like me calling him boy. I got my man. You ready here? Like, turn that off. Turn that off. Turn. 
that off. And... New song. On. Let's do it! Just waiting for that first big landmine hit. Oop! No, oh, everyone actually kind of made it in relatively unscathed. Everyone's just dying in the middle now, though. And there's just a huge fire going on on the backside over here. It looks like all the skaters have fallen into a spike trap. That bodes very poorly for their chances on that flank, honestly. But in the center, they're looking a lot better. And here on the bottom, it seems like this bottom side over here is always just, it's a straight run up for the zombies, so it's a pretty even matchup. Oh, are the blade traps not on? Did I not? No, 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 no. Surprise, guys. Turn on. <laughs> spin, spin those blade traps up. Ah, there we go. I can hear some chopping. Yo, all kinds of people fell in the pit down here. That just is not, not a good place for them to be, honestly. Those spikes are like super spikes. It's not like a regular spikes trap. Causes instant massive bleeding attack. And um, it's like 20 damage per second. This is a good matchup here. I, it's pretty even across the board, I'd have to say. Oh, yeah, I got the blade traps. Yep, sorry about that. <laughs> oh. It's almost like Team Green here. I will keep wanting to say Team Green, but um, Skater Boy team, whichever side he was on. They're doing a pretty good job in the middle here. And these, like, they just got, like, little groups of ones and twosies over here. This is a good 2v2 matchup. We can watch for a second. Come on, guys. Who, who do we got here, anyway? Ruger... Uh, Pampa, Demetrius, and Milnil here. Oh, it's, um, it's, yep. It's looking kind of rough for these whites here. Uh-oh, got some reinforcements from T-Peel. Uh-oh, <laughs> no! Pampa! You let us all down. Oh, getting some reinforcements over here, but into the caltrips with you. Massive damage, Milnil's not gonna make it through. Uh oh, now it's 2v2, kind of? Oh no, sneaky guy at the bottom. I'll bite your legs off. <laughs> Look at him bite. It's crazy. He's still in the game. Don't count him out just yet. Oh, and over here. Oh guys, no, 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 no. The whites, I, it's clear to me that the whites are outnumbered here. It's just a matter of time, I think. Speaking of time. Let's go ahead and juice it up a little bit. What are you guys doing over there? Oh, we got... King Zeke got trapped. Um... Okay, you are disqualified. And one of you are too. Oh, <laughs> he didn't even make it over anyway. It is all over, guys. The feral white let us all down. Oh, this is sad music, too. The disappointment is palpable. The feral white. It's supposed to be like the toughest guy, you know? He's a schmuck. That's what I think of the feral white. Well is what it is that pulls the teams to dead even six verse uh six to six but now i've been waiting for this one it is time for the biker versus the lumberjack it should be a wait a minute I don't think it's dead even. I think the biker has 750 hit points and the lumberjack has 800. But biker has some armor. So there's that going for him. Armor pretty much means nothing though. If 
Spiker. Lumberjack. This is going to be a good one, man. These guys are the toughest, man. You come up against these guys early game, it is no joke. Everybody's afraid of the bikers, especially the feral ones. Feral biker, man, they can get you any stage of the game. You guys got the biker. I mean, I'm, I'm pulling for the biker, too. I think he'll win. We've had some surprises here. It is not guaranteed. We're going to go full tilt here, though, with a chunk reset. And let's just make sure that this stays on. What team are we on here? Ah, uh, yes, Team Red for the Lumberjack. I tried to, like, where possible, kind of put them on the team that had the right color theme going for it. gonna be good man and the biker biker was pretty much undefeated in my testing he is just so strong but i didn't hit i pitted him against like the cop and stuff kills the cops <laughs> i should do we should do bikers versus debo at some point that would be interesting okay are we ready here who do we got? Who do we got? 63%. Okay, it's not as high as it was a second ago. Yeah, this is just the straight run-up side. I want to see the battle from, like, the middle again. It's that landmine right there, man. It gets them every time. Do you guys have a, a landmine, like, right in front of you here? They've got that one right there. They both have, like, a direct shot for a landmine. Well, I'm not going to change anything now. The arena is set. We'll do it from here. Okay, are we good? Um, good. 64%. Three, two, one, and... Let's do it. Oh, bikers, top left, hopping over the fence. And as always, the landmine's just devastating for the middle. It's awful. Okay, it's just going to be a slugfest over here. And it's all up to the explosives to figure out what happens over here. It does look like... Oh, the bikers, they had a kind of a rough time here in the middle, but the lumberjacks are all on fire now because they've had to traverse so far to get here. That's really going to weaken them. They were pretty much all burning there. Okay, I think the winner of the battle is going to be whoever wins in this group here because that other group there, it's going to be like down to the last four zombies, basically. Oh, Ooh, look at these big lumberjacks, man. They're actually pulling their weight. Oh, I can hear them dying, though. Oh. Okay, it's an even, even matchup here. Okay, anyone want to change their votes yet? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh-oh, I see lots of bikers dying. I don't think anything's even happening over there on this side, though. Maybe the camera needs to be a little bit closer to them. To get the AI to work. Here, have some AI, guys. I'll come over here and babysit you for a second. Pretty close. Pretty close. We got a couple of uh, dismembered guys on the ground here. <laughs> this guy's just, like, laying down up here. Oh, I don't know. I think I think the bikers are pulling through on this side. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. Looking good for the bikers on that side. Uh oh, looking good for the lumberjacks. It seems on this side though. We're gonna have a little bit of a meet up in the middle. I think. Yep. We're down to three bikers on this side. Maybe four. Now it's three. Oh, but the fire down to two it's not going to be enough though because none of them are going to make it over to the other side they are 100 percent oh my goodness but the bikers are just going to probably clean up all by themselves all because of you buddy what are you doing up there nope they made it here's the tough part though 
making it over to your buddies in one piece. <laughs> it's, it's never going to happen. Okay, I think the bikers have it on this one by a landslide. I think the bikers are probably top dog in the zombie world anyway. We could pit these guys against anyone. That's what we'll do. At the very end, it's the biker all-star team to see who's going to win. Because that, that was a um, clean victory right there. Oops, um, let's do a reset. Turn that back on. <laughs> hey, neither skill nor style, how's it going? Poor old Lumberjacks, yep. Looks like uh, age finally caught up to him, I guess. Who's next, anyway? Lumberjack, oh my goodness, for the first time. Red team is... Holy no, 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 I misspoke, I misspoke, no. Biker is on blue team. It is six, seven versus six right now. Okay, so this one, Team Red has to have this one. It is it is the one from the thumbnail. Big Mama versus Fat Tourist. Fat Tourist is on team blue. Let's set it up. Oh, let's get the, the vote going for you guys too. Big Mama or Fat Tourist? We got Tourist in blue here. Oh, it's uh, Hawaiian. I think statistically these guys are um, pretty much the same. Female fat pharaoh, yep. Hey Dank, how's it going? Infamous Dank Jeans. $20 super chat, pizza time. Yeah, that's right. The Hawaiian pizza man. All right, the stage is set for what should be a good, clean, even matchup. I couldn't think of a better matchup. The heavyweights, pizza versus mama. Are we ready for this? Alan, welcome aboard to the accomplices. Uh, accomplice here. I think you'll get uh, naming rights. Uh, you'll be in the video credits. Oh, you've, you've been a part of this. You're on your like more than six months. Just re-upped. You know what the deal is. All right, are we all set up here? We're good? Let's hit it. <laughs> They're so slow. <laughs> Everyone else has been like, zip right up. But this one, it's a little bit different. We got a lot of weight moving around here. It takes a minute to get some momentum. The laws of physics are working against these guys. Or for them, if you, depending on what stage of the battle you're in. Oh, but the big mamas seem to be like all on fire. Massive explosions. It seems to be pretty evenly distributed on this side over here. We need some more landmines on that side over there, though. It's always just a... Whoop. Oh, those were some explosive barrels for some reason going off over there. Jeez, look, looking pretty even to me, guys. I don't know. I don't know. Who, what are the votes in? Oh, Big Mama's got the vote. 61%. I'm surprised. I, I would have voted for the tourist here, but... I don't know, you know, the fun pimps, they want to give the tourist a special attack, some kind of like a gas attack, but it just hasn't been done yet. I was poking around in the game files today, setting some stuff up, and um, I found out that there's a some secret code for a cop zombie to instant explode when he falls from a certain height. It's just, it's not in the game, it's in the files, it's just not like active or implemented. 
So basically, if a, if a cop falls hard enough, he just like, boom, pops. <laughs> like a contact grenade, which I thought was hilarious. I was like, why isn't that in? That's so cool. I love that. There's all kinds of stuff in the files. There's a, there's a helicopter in the files. There's a flamethrower. There's a tier three stun baton. They call it the plasma baton. It's all stuff that I've been hoping for, but... We may never get it, just because it's there doesn't mean it's coming in the future, right? Yep, just, just massive head-to-head -head punch for punch contest over here. And, um, it, you know, from what we've seen so far, it doesn't even matter who wins over here, because as soon as these big mamas are done, <laughs> they're just going to die on their way over, probably. Oh, but it's... I'd say it's in Big Mama's favor. It's Big Mama's to lose right now. Come on, hurry up. Get over there. Right into the blade trap with you. Oh! A little bit of landmine action there. Oh, and these ones. <laughs> Big Mama, man. Put her out of her misery. No! What are you hitting the wall for? How is the tourist on the school bus? <laughs> Destroy the school bus. Oh my god. Okay, what do we got? So three over there. Four, five, six. Uh oh. Uh oh. Big mama. She's gonna take it, isn't she? It's all because the tourist in the stupid school bus, man. <laughs> no, I think that's. That's a wrap there. Big mama gets it. Okay, jeez, I always forget, like, which, who's on which team here. That was... Oh, team Red! Team Red! Team Red tied it up! Oh my god, guys! It's a dead even tie going into the final match. Okay, I, I gotta start... I gotta show this to you guys before we proceed any further, okay? I'm just gonna snippet this. Ah, where'd it go? Come on. There it is. You guys see that? This is the current matchup right now. After a four consecutive win streak for Team Blue, they choked considerably down the stretch, allowing Team Red to come from behind and tie it up on the 14th matchup. The, the 12, 13, something like that. How many matchups do we have here? 15, yeah. That was the 14th match. This is the last one. The, the radiated cop. We're not even doing the feral cop. We have to do the rad cop so that it evens out the hit points with the demo because the demo has like 1,300 hit points or 1,200 or something like that. And the, the feral cop only had like nine 900 or, you know, not as much, right? So we want to make it fair. And guys, with the explosions... It's anyone's game on this one. There's gonna, everyone's just gonna blow up. It's gonna be a very quick battle. All right. Reset the map. Give me those landmines back. Who's on, uh, the demo is on the red team. Of course. All right, this is for all the marbles for the entire match. This is it right here, guys. We gotta, we gotta do it. Big Mama. Oh, clutch. There's your poll, guys. Oh, we got a super chat from... Oh, Shkode D. Timurki, may you never fail to nerd in the proper fashion for us chat. Your mastery of the dead is unmatched. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. All right, let's close things out here, guys. We'll do one more match, and then um, and then I'll take some votes on, like, you know, if we want to do, like, one more big match at the very end. We'll, we'll see what we can do there. Ooh, okay. Here we go. Are ready, ready for this? Are we ready for this? Demo. Demo time. 
25 over there. Okay. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, with the, the low graphics settings, the, the caught projectile thing is... It's gonna look weird, but also it's gonna be necessary because the particle effect on the cop and the, the glowing light and everything on the three-pronged spitting attack is gonna be a little bit hellish for my GPU, but we'll get through it. Hopefully we don't have any issues too with like Hazbat Boy. I don't know what was wrong with him. He was acting like the animals do and just no one would attack him. I had the same problem with like the bear. I really wanted to get a bear in there. A thousand rabbits versus the hundred chickens. We can't. We can't do animals, man. It has to be like the zombies we've done so far because just limitations of the mod. But that is a great suggestion. If we could get like attack rabbits and chickens. I could, I could put some chickens and rabbits in here. <laughs> I'll, I, I'll, okay, I'll, I'll put a... No, no, I can't because they'll just set off a bunch of landmines. No, no, no. Okay, we got to keep it clean for the, the finale here. And I, we got to start in the middle. You know, neutral playing field here. All right, man. This is it. Let's, um... We gotta get, like, a, just a more epic song for this, don't we? We can't just be, like, wherever we are now in the playlist. Depends on what's next. Ah, not, not this song, not this song. No, 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 no. White Bat Audio, in case you're wondering. Here we go. This is the one. <laughs> Ready for this? Are we voting yet? Do we, do we vote? Oh, the cop by 5%. Alan Gabbert with the gifted memberships. Hey, appreciate that. Get your memberships. Got a bunch of new ones here. Whoop, that's a little bit loud. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You new members should get a couple of things. Naming rights, uh, you'll get access to all the channel update videos that I do once a month. Channel update coming in a couple weeks. Behind the scenes looks, you know, analytics, stats, future plans and whatnot, that's what we do. All right, enough delay here. Are we ready? Three, two, one. This is for it, this is it. Winner takes all. Oh, the demos are walking. The demos don't run. Uh-oh. Oh, the cops are running full speed. Oh, we got the demos going off in the middle already. The arena itself is taking a beating. Oh, no, 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 no. This is bad. Here, let's get in here. Okay. Just same thing as usual. Big slugfest on this side. Uh-oh. Watch out. Demo's doing more damage to themselves than anyone, including the cops over there in the middle. On the left side, oh, massive demo explosion coming up. Ooh, the arena. There's no more arena. <laughs> what is this arena made out of? It's like paper. Uh-oh, missing some action over here. Oh, the cops. They are done for, guys, the demos. The demos won it despite massive damage in the middle. That's it. That's it. Team Red came from behind victory. <laughs> no way, guys. Dank Jeans with another five gifted memberships. Welcome to the crew, guys. That's it. Team Red. It's over. Look at this. What is this anyway? Give me some hands. Oh, it's just metal. Man. It's like solid though. This was this is a solid map, man. It's like that dug through a lot of blocks. Oh, check out the bottom of this. I thought this was hilarious. <laughs> oh, what does that say? Uh What does a true Scotsman keep under Maybe the prefab? I don't know. I, have, I, I think I've filled some of these in with blocks in my own mods. I didn't even notice that. I, I, I noticed the uh, smiley faces there, but... What? Is it A? Yeah, it's probably A. What does a true 
Scotsman keep under a prefab? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, anyone's guess, I guess. All right, I, I, we can't follow that up with anything. There, there's no more. There's no more match. I mean, what? We're gonna do biker against demo. Guys, come on. Demo's got it all day, right? Scoper, scooper, scoper. Two dollars. Uh, need rematch. Blade traps wasn't on, and overlay off. Oh, we had the overlay on. Oh my bad. Did we miss some action there? We, we. I'll, I'll. I'll concede we can do one rematch. It's not going to count against the uh, the true win, but we'll see if we can, you know, double it up. Confirmation victory here. Get the blade traps on. Overlays off. All right, all right, all right. I messed it up. I pulled a I pulled a hazmat boy there. Demo. Yeah, see the, the demos, they get the same advantage that the crawlers get in that they don't run around very much. It's a good song though. And it's over. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, no, hurry up, hurry up. We got a good music to go with this. Yeah, uh, that cop radiated. I did all the wrong zombies over there. Guys, go away. All right. Mulligan, a little bit of a do-over. Alan Gabbard, $20 super chat, GNS, 1 million. Million subs someday, hopefully. Oh, but again, the projectiles from the cops are setting off demos in the left, in the center. Oh, it's, it is killer. No, 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 no. The demos. Oh, but the cops are blowing up everywhere. Oh, look at the blood and gore over there on the left. It's, it's a chaos over here. Oh, but this side over here is about to get shook up a little bit. I don't know, man. We got a lot of demos left on this side, and they're marching over. Wait a minute. It's just one cop left? Hey, if the cops are alive and all the demos kill themselves, it still counts. Although this one was a lot closer, I think. Come on, cop. What can you do? Can he do it? Who is it? Who is it? Unholy Dragon versus the Spice Lord versus Sue Fisher, Johnny Toothpicks, and Jason. Wow, okay, it was down to two. Oh no, there's a whole bunch in the floor. Guys, demos, demos are too strong. That's it. Alan Gabbard with the sticker there, $4. Thank you very much, appreciate it. Hey guys. I really appreciate y'all coming out and spending some time here with me on Saturday for this goofy, weird idea that I had. I just, I kind of thought it up and then Furious Ramsey helped me get the mod going and I was like, you know what, let's do it. Let's spin up a live stream, hang out for an hour or two, have a good time, see who's the ultimate zombie. I'm gonna continue working on this map here. I'm gonna continue working on some ideas on how to mod this and maybe we will spin this up again in Alpha 22 for another round, maybe with some new, obstacles or you know new something and i hope you'll join me for that one anyway my friends um stay patient i know a lot of people want another seven days to die series there have to be breaks like this in between them in order for me to put out a good quality product so i'm taking a bit of a rest i'm exploring some other mods spencer mansion hope you're watching that uh looking back at all the old alphas of seven days that's been a good time as well and playing some other survival games um this is it's more becoming more of a variety channel than it is a seven days to dice channel so hope you're on board for that if not that's that's fine with me hope you'll be here for the seven days to die content coming soon anyway my friends have a great weekend and i will see you hopefully in the next video take care all